too old for this. Robert Harrison Clark, are you going to pick that bottle up? Up here, Bob. Oh, that hurt. Sorry about that, Bob. I'm just so tired of picking up all these empty water bottles you guys leave around. Why do you drink that stuff? Because it comes from natural springs and it tastes good? Yes, I'm sure it does. But look at the mess it creates. What are you doing up here anyway? I need to make a video about where the water for the new hydration stations comes from. It starts way up here in the Adirondack Mountains, doesn't it? I suppose you're right. So why didn't you just refill a bottle with water from the hydration station for your trip up here? Well, I suppose I would have, but how do I know it's any good? Bob, providing good quality drinking water is a global problem requiring complex solutions. Your East Fishkill team worked with several different agencies to ensure the water tastes great and is safe. It was all part of an eight-step detailed problem-solving effort where engineers and scientists collaborated with state and local agencies to solve the problem and implement the best solution. So tell me, Mother Nature, what was the solution? I got no clue, Babalu, but I know who does. Say, don't you have a value stream mapping meeting with Jim Doyle at 3 o'clock? Jeepers creepers! I'm gonna be late! I'll never make it back to sight in time! I'm gonna need a miracle! I asked for a miracle and you sent me this old backpack? The zipper's even broken! Why do you think I'm giving it to you? Look what's inside. Wow! A magic backpack! I'll have my friend, Dr. David Speed, fill you in on the solution along the way. Great! Can't wait to hear from him! Hey, how do I get home from here anyway? Just follow the path of the drinking water. Take this double diamond trail down to Lake Tier of the Clouds. Hang a right at the Hudson River to the walkway over the Hudson. Take a left at the Poughkeepsie Water Treatment Plant. And from there, follow the rail trail to the Hudson Valley Research Park. Here's Dave now. Hi, my name is Dave Speed and I'm an engineer in IBM's Semiconductor Research and Development Center. And one of my specialties is water chemistry and the modeling of water quality systems. In 2008, the demand for water at IBM's East Fishkill Semiconductor Manufacturing Facility began to outstrip supply and the decision was made to supplement the site's conventionally chlorinated groundwater supply with municipal water. The municipal water used a different type of disinfectant called chloramine. The consequence of the switch in disinfectants was that the existing passivation layer that had built up on the interior of the IBM copper pipe surfaces over the previous 40 years began to degrade with the result that small levels of lead were released into the water. Of course, at the time that the elevated lead concentrations were first detected, the precise cause was not known, and so in conjunction with bringing in a bottled water supply so that employees would have safe water to drink, we joined with the Dutchess County Water Authority and the Municipal Water Supply Systems Engineers to determine the root cause. One of the key resources that we were able to bring to bear was the advanced surface chemical analytical capabilities of IBM's research labs. The surface chemical analysis in conjunction with water quality modeling showed that the conversion from conventional chlorine to chloramine had caused corrosion of the interior pipe surfaces. In order to correct the problem, three principal actions were taken. We switched back to chlorine. We added advanced metrology to carefully control the pH phosphate corrosion inhibitor in chlorine levels to achieve an optimal level of corrosion control. And we modified the design and operation of the piping systems to improve flushing and achieve a shorter residence time of water. Since then, we have purchased new fountains called Brito water supply stations which have an automated flushing feature and which are also equipped with filters that can remove lead. Following several months of carefully controlled water supply under the new disinfection re regime, 
the lead levels have been successfully reduced and the water now again meets water quality standards. In addition to the restoration of a safe water supply, several positive things have come out of this effort. We are able to share the advanced surface chemical analytical techniques we, that we used with EPA's drinking water research laboratories. We have installed an array of water quality sensors which we use with advanced numerical modeling techniques to interpret the data and achieve an optimal control over the water quality. And we have built strong relations with not only the county and the municipal water suppliers, but also with water quality researchers across the country. This is part of our Smarter Water program. Why don't you stop at the Poughkeepsie Water Treatment Plant and see Randy Allstadt? Hi, my name is Randy Allstadt. I'm the administrator of the Poughkeepsie's Water Treatment Facility. Our water is taken from the Hudson River, a Class 2A drinking water source. Water is constantly monitored throughout our facility to ensure particles are removed, that the water is properly disinfected, and that pH is proper to reduce corrosion potential. Additionally, we monitor the application rate of each chemical through recording flow meters. We consistently provide high quality water that complies with all drinking water standards. Hey, Bridget Barkley's in the conference room. Hi, my name is Bridget Barkley. I'm the Executive Director of the Dutchess County Water and Wastewater Authority. The authority was established by Dutchess County in 1992 to work to address water supply and wastewater issues throughout Dutchess County. We currently own and operate 11 water systems, including the Central Dutchess Water Transmission Line. The Central Dutchess Water Transmission Line is a 24-inch, 13-mile pipeline that carries water that we purchase from the Poughkeepsie Water Treatment Plant pipes that align the Central Dutchess Rail Trail and down to the IBM plant in East Fishkill. The authority's role is to make sure that the water that we purchase from Poughkeepsie meets all drinkable water standards at the point where we deliver the water to IBM down at East Fishkill. Introducing the Brita Hydration Station, an advancement in the drinking water industry, an evolutionary concept making healthier, great tasting drinking water easily available away from home. The Brita Hydration Station is an alternative to bottled water. It brings great tasting filtered water to away from home locations. The Brita Hydration Station is a touch free, hygienic, filtered water dispenser. The revolutionary Brita Hydration Station combines sensor-operated functionality, certified filtration, and the use of antimicrobial additives in key components with an aesthetically pleasing design for healthier, great-tasting water. Not only is the Brita Hydration Station a convenient solution for most everyone's hydration needs, it is also incredibly easy to use. The unit is activated by an electronic sensor with an easy in, up, down, and out motion. The Brita Hydration Station has been designed with a laminar flow to prevent splashing, keeping the filling area clean and offering fast, drip-free water fill-ups. Key components, including the outlet spout, are antimicrobially treated to help protect them from damage due to the growth of mold or mildew. In addition, the user never has to actually touch the Brita Hydration Station, thereby further increasing the sanitary benefits. On the front access panel is a filter replacement light that flashes to assure the user that they are receiving healthier, great tasting water with each activation. Filter change is required at 2500 gallons and the filter replacement indicator LED light will flash green until the filter life has 10% left. At this point, the filter light will flash yellow. 
When the maximum filter capacity has been reached, the LED light will flash red until the filter is replaced and the monitor reset. On average, the unit can help reduce the consumption of as many as 36,000 standard 16.9 ounce plastic water bottles each year. The Brita Hydration Station is easy to use, hygienic, and environmentally friendly.